Uh, if we got some, if you have a problem finishing this off at any time, at any time, and sometimes it'll happen with you, you the errors are going to be usually this insertion arm isn't deep enough. It has to be as deep as possible into the face. He should, at this point, either feel my bicep in his throat, or on his chin, or on his uh, face. I mean, his, his lips, his nose, it doesn't matter. I don't care where you put it. So sometimes, well, I didn't get under the chin. No, you don't care. Just run it. There should be some contact with the face or throat anywhere on this bicep. And if you're going, I can't make it happen, that's what this is for. Do not use your hand to put it there. This is inefficient. We're not strong. We don't, grab a, we don't do pull-ups like this. We would have to do them this way, so take your hand out of it and let that elbow be the gatherer to bring it in. So if you're thinking this bicep still isn't touching, pull it in. If the bicep's already touching, pull it in some more. All right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, the last thing on it is this top arm. You want to have it clued so you can put your sprawl, your hips, your chest through the arm. So, another common error would be, let's see, I'm pulling everything in nice and tight, but if this way, you can bring the camera around here, please. If his arm is exposed too much, let's say this way, I might be able to finish it, but I feel a little doubtful on it. I need to have more weight on top of the arm. So wherever the arm is, you go and roll on top of it. That makes sense? So bicep to face, to anywhere from like, uh, uh, upper lip down to the throat, that's okay. Elbow, not hands to gather it in to make it even tighter. And the last thing, find where the shoulder, I mean the, the arm is, roll yourself on top of that and then squeeze everything all together. Okay? Let's do it.